an example of circuit with mutual coupling in sinusoidal steady state circuit analysis. In this circuit, a uh, simple circuit that is given with um, two inductors uh, with mutual coupling, um, so we have a 30 milli Henry inductor and 50 milli Henry inductor, and then there is a um, co coupling coefficient k as an indication of mutual coupling between them. And there is the um, voltage source, sinusoidal voltage source of 165 times cosine 1000 T here in the circuit. So obviously um, we can see that omega uh, is 1000 radian per second. And obviously we can rewrite the voltage source as in the form of phaser 165 phase zero volt. So um, question is, we need to find the coupling coefficient k such that the, in the resulting circuit, the 10 ohm resistor is going to dissipate 320 watt active power, average active power. First thing we need to do is we need to find um, the current that is flowing through these two circuits. So let's assume current I2 in this second loop phaser is rotating this way, and let's assume current I1 is rotating uh, clockwise. So uh, we can write KVL for these um, two loops here. So first, for first loop, what we have is the input voltage source phaser is equal to um, 10 ohm times current I1 phaser plus this current goes through the, this uh, inductor. So we have obviously J um, L1 omega um, L1 is this inductor, L2 is in this inductor here. So J L1 omega, and then we have I1. And then because of mutual coupling, we have J uh, M omega. M is the mutual coupling between these two inductors um, times I2. And the reason we have positive sign is because both of these currents are entering as indicated, the inductors as indicated by the dots uh, symbol. And uh, the definition of the uh, K or coupling coefficient is, as, as is well known, is K just M divided by a square root of L1, L2. Okay, so we need to find this M first. Um, so that's the first uh, KVL in the first loop, and in the second loop it's simple, there is no voltage source. Uh, so this current is flowing, I2 uh, phaser is flowing through 20 ohm, so we have 20 times I2 phaser, plus then it is going through this 50 milli, uh, milli Henry inductor, so we have JL2 omega I2, and then similar to the first loop, we have a plus J M omega I1. Okay, so let's um, substitute for values, so we have um, Vs is 165, phase 0 is equal to um, 10 plus L1 is 30 milliohm and omega is 1000 radian per second, so it's L omega, L1 omega is just 30. So J30 times I1 plus J 1000 M I2. We don't know M. And zero is 20 plus, same idea here, so JL2 omega omega is 1000, L2 is 50 milli Henry, so we have J50, and this time I2, plus J1000 M I1. So let's clean up. So in a better way, return 10 plus J30 um, I1 plus J 1000 M I2 is 165 phase zero, and then J 1000 M I1 plus 20 plus J 50 I2 is zero. We can use a Kramer, Kramer rule to figure out the value for I1 that we need in order to find the dissipated power in 10 ohm. So I can just use a Kramer rule and I have I1 phaser is 
determinant of replacing these two coefficients I, I1 with the, the 165, phase 0 and 0, and then J1000M, and then 20 plus J50. In numerator and in denominator, we have the 10 plus uh, J30, J1000M, J1000M, and then 20 plus J50. All right, so uh, this is what we have. And then we need to um, find a needed value for I1. Going back to what is asked in the, what is requested, what is desired in the question targeted, is the dissipated power across this resistor is 320 watt. So what it is saying is average active power dissipation uh, across that 10 ohm resistor is 8 is is 320 watt is equal to 1 over 2 value of resistor times um, the magnitude of the current or amplitude of the current that is passing through it square so um, what we get is, uh, and, and this resistor is just 10 ohm. So what we get is IM squared is 64, so IM is 8 amp. So basically, this gives us the idea that IM1, that I1 phaser is in the form of 8 sum phaser, theta I1, which we don't know what's the value of phase, but it is in this form. So now that we know the um, format or the desired magnitude for I1, we can say, all right, um, from here, I1 is uh, 165 phase 0 times 20 plus J50 in uh, numerator. Denominator is uh, 10 plus J30 uh, times 20 plus J50 minus j square is um, plus and then 10 to the 6 m square okay the only thing that matters to me is uh, the magnitude of this thing because that is the that is the inf information we have so magnitude of the phaser i1 is 8 so i'm going to take magnitude here so or amplitude and then what i'm going to get from this is it should be 8 and that is uh, equal to uh, magnitude of uh, just 165 times 20 plus J50 divide by uh, 10 plus J30 20 plus J50 uh, 10 to the 6 M square okay if you solve for this you will find that M has to be equal to approximately 38.13 um, millihenry and as soon as you find out the value of m then the rest of it is easy because you would say k or coupling coefficient is just m divided by square root of l1 l2 so it is 38.13 millihenry divided by um, 30 millihenry for L1 times 50 millihenry for L2. And if you calculate this, you end up with 0 0.98, um, roughly, coupling coefficient K. Um, with this coupling coefficient, the resulting I1 uh, will have a magnitude of 8 or amplitude of 8 and then that would result in average power dissipated of 320 watt across this 10 ohm resistor.